Hey Libra, this is Soul, and Libra, this is your uh, weekly uh, talk. Yeah, <laughs> this is your weekly tarot forecast. Oh my gosh, I was struggling to get the words out. Anyway, uh, it is for Libra sign, Moon, and Libra rising signs as well. All right, Libra, I hope all is well. I want to wish you all a, a very happy labor, uh, very happy, safe Labor Day, and also too, I just did uh, Virgo's video. I forgot to mention. Uh, please send prayers out for those people who are. In the path of Dorian down in Florida, um, your prayers are appreciated and, and helpful. Um, but that hurricane that's coming through may be uh, those things that I had mentioned about the um, environmental aspects when the tower showed up three times. That's, that's exactly what I was talking about. So it's uh, been listed as a category three and it's moving up to four. So that's some serious energy here. So let's just hope that it just doesn't um, destroy a lot of a lot of stuff property and, and God forbid any uh, any deaths okay so let's get right into your reading here new week new energy I'm using the uh, witches tarot uh, Libra to uh, deliver your messages uh, and like I said I think I only meant use this like um, during Halloween I don't know I thought maybe it was appropriate. So there are just a few reversals here. And also I'm going to try to incorporate something new. I'm going to use the um, Gilded Reverie Lenormand uh, deck. There's 36 cards. Those uh, cards are never read in uh, reverse position. Even if they showed up, you just turn it around and read it. But they're read in pairs. So I'm going to select two cards uh, uh, for you. And then that will be in addition to the energies that I select for you, a Libra, using the Witch's Tarot. See how that comes across, all right? All right, so without further ado and me babbling, uh, let's get right into your energies here. Let's see what's coming up. What are the messages for Libra in this upcoming week? We're already moving into fall. Gosh, so summer has come. Summer has almost about to be over. All right, so energies for Libra. Okay, Libra, your shadow energy relates to the high priestess, and she's in the reverse, Major Arcana. So I always say that the uh, Major Arcanas are to be paid attention to when they're showing up as your shadow card, and this, if it is the very first card that is selected for you as your focus uh, for the uh, upcoming week. So what this means is that you're not trusting yourself enough, okay, because the high priestess is all about trusting yourself and, and going with those uh you know, intuitive prompts that, you know, she gives you and that's to trust yourself and what, you know, you feel is either for you or against you. All right. But some for some strange reason, there may be a, a situation or two that you may be dealing with this upcoming week where you're not trusting yourself about possibly making a decision or it could be an exchange with another energy that you're dealing with a person per se. Uh, so this is about intuition just to show you what it looks like in the upright uh, position. Again, major arcana and the high priestess is in the reverse. It is representing Pisces and uh, other water energies, cancer and Scorpio male or female. So there could be, uh, I always get with this card about uh, opposites or polar opposites you know, so it could be that there's a difference of opinion uh, that you are dealing with when it comes to uh, in relationship to another person. All right. So the high priestess is the number two. So I'm just getting that information from there. It's in relationship to another could be a person, could be a person, could be another situation as well. Uh, but the main focus is for you to trust yourself enough uh, in this upcoming week. Uh, to know that uh, you are going to be, um, you know, making decisions f for your highest good. All right. So secrets being revealed. Secrets also is in uh, connection. Uh, being revealed is in connection with the moon uh, because the moon is behind the high priestess. Actually, the moon is below the high priestess. So isn't that strange? Usually it's up above. So in the reverse position, the moon is then on top. So secrets being revealed. All right. Something to do with secrecy or secrecy, uh, something about a mystery or something to do with, uh, yeah, mystery, something mysterious. Uh, 
difference of opinion with someone, strong opinion, um, and not trusting yourself. Okay, so but your overall energy, this is a good card. Now it relates to the page of cups. So maybe you're not trusting yourself enough about a relationship or a job, a new job or, a, you know, something new. This is the start of something new. This is an offering. So this is your energy that opens us up. It's also a relationship card. So the focus is on relationships, but there's something new that's about to begin for uh, Libra. So again, pay attention to whatever it is that you're uh, being guided by. Because see, you're not going to be trusting yourself enough. All right. You have to go with the flow and just uh, basically get the hell out your own way. All right. Let's select the rest of the cards here. Libra to compliment your uh, reading and see what we come up with. Uh, like I said, bar any uh, recording stoppages. I didn't have any in uh, Virgo. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope I can get through this. Uh, because I always anticipate that it's going to stop like in midstream. All right, so Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. It's the start of something new, new beginnings in something. This could be a birth of a child, a new development in a friendship, or a relationship. But the shadow energy says, am I going to trust myself enough with this new job, this new relationship, this new uh, relationship, romantic, platonic, or something going on with the family? And like I said, it could be if it's not a direct or true uh, Libra that I'm reading for then somebody connected could be giving birth to a child or there's there's birth on the way okay so following that page of cups uh, Libra we now have the oh look see I said relationships did not king of cups <laughs> so your focus is definitely on dealing with other people now this is the king so it could be dealing with mother father grandmother grandfather all right uh, but it is the relationship card It's the uh, father of all love, all nurturing, all caring, emotionally supportive. So you have that energy there. This is also a card. You definitely have the support, you know, because these people are coming through. The page is a court card. The king of cups is a court card. So you definitely have people. And then again, it could be new people that you're meeting. And then you're have some type of reservations be based on the um, high priestess that's showing up in the reverse. And keep in mind, I said that there could be an instance where you are having a, a strong difference of opinion, and it could be related to these people that are showing up here. Somebody younger, somebody older. Uh, but otherwise, this is a you know, relationship card, and somebody is definitely here. Uh, to support you when the king shows up in the upright is always about good stuff okay happiness emotional happiness satisfaction and contentment but it is based on your relationships uh and your exchanges with others so again cancer scorpio pisces male or female is with that uh that comes with that king of cups now we have the five of wands okay so f little bickering little fighting Normally, when I'm reading for your sign or the sign that I'm reading for, and this shows up here, it's usually somebody who's in direct uh, connection, possibly with a true uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. It does not have to be because nothing that I say is written in stone. Just keep in mind that someone wants to pick a fight, start an argument. It follows the king. OK, so it could be any of those energies, but whatever starts off quickly is going to end just as quickly all right so don't worry about i always say don't worry about the five of wands you're not being attacked you know personally or uh it could it just you know it's energy so it could be that you know the five is showing up for some of you who aren't you know dealing with you know someone trying to pick a fight or an argument with you and trying to sort some things out okay and it's taking you uh, some energy to do that so you might have a you know a few things on your plate that you need to sort out all right but that doesn't mean that it's the end of the world so quick energy that comes in it's a five so it, it may come in uh and then once it comes in it fizzles out so whatever it is that you're trying to sort out you will sort it out because as quickly as it comes it goes all right Again, following the five of wands is the uh, seven of pentacles. So some of you are working hard trying to um, now the seven of pentacles can oftentimes come in is uh, not only just working hard for the money, but it's a card that's a work in progress. So it could be a, attached to any other energies uh, in relationship to you, Libra, outside of the workplace environment, maybe working very hard to do something. It mirrors the king. 
So maybe there's a work in progress when it comes to a family member. OK, it could be, a, you know, like I said, a father, mother, grandfather, grandmother. It could be your brother, your sister, whoever. It's a relationship card. So there's a work in progress. So you're working to help someone uh, and it's um, family connected are very close ties with this uh, situation. Uh, so, but it's working hard. Uh, otherwise, for those who are focused on work, building up your uh, investments or something else that's going on here uh, that you're working very hard towards. Now, it could be a goal. It could be uh, like an investment goal or something like that. Or the Seven of Pentacles uh, still comes in. Any Pentacles that show up here is about uh, things that could be connected to uh, work specifically, then that would be, you know, like small pay raises or bonuses, or there's a boost or an increase in income. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents that seven of pentacles. And also the seven of pentacles is about options as well. So keep that in mind. And look at here. This is the nine of pentacles. See? The nine of pentacles. Somebody's about to start a new job. Somebody's about to start a new business. Uh, it's underneath that page of cups. And remember, I said the pages are always about something that's about to come in. That's new for us. And the nine of pentacles is right underneath in the upright position, that page of cups. So, again, this is the seven of pentacles spoke about working hard. And I connected it to uh, things outside of the workplace environment. But this is the, you know enjoying the fruits of your hard work and your labor that you've already, you know, invested, invested time into relationships or invested time into your work. Now, this nine of pentacles says, take it easy, um, treat yourself, relax. Some of you may be dipping and dabbing into 401ks, retirements, and then you're pulling that money out to um, not necessarily be extravagant, but just do something to uh, reward yourself with. OK, now this is normally big ticket spending. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles always gives me that big ticket spending. Uh, but if not, it's just like it's time for you to enjoy all the hard work that you put into possibly a project or relationship. Now it's time for you to reap the rewards. OK, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, once again, with that nine of Pentacles showing up. And that's a very good card to receive after the nine of Pentacles. Now we have the King of Wands. So here we have another court card and the king is right underneath the um, the King of Cups. So normally the King of Wands is, you know, someone who is very focused, someone who is very passionate, someone who could be very intense. This is a court card. So it's an actual person. So fire and steam creates. I mean, I'm sorry. Fire and water creates steam. Somebody's at odds. And like I said, the high priestess is coming in here. Now, this may not be you directly, but somebody is at odds here with someone. This could be family uh, with another person. Uh, normally, when the king of wands shows up here, his energy is not good because he's lost his focus. Uh, he could be temperamental. He could be argumentative. And then we have the five of wands that represents fire energy. So maybe it's a connection there. So whatever this energy is, that, that means there's a decrease decrease of passion, decrease of intensity. It's the card of sexual expression, sexual energy, and it may be all that it is and it may not be relative to anything that I just spoke about uh, prior. So, but whatever the king shows up here for you for, uh, it is here. Okay. You just have to apply or attach the energies to your situation. All right. So following the king of wands in the reverse position, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Now we have the star card. Now this is your energy and it's in the reverse. This is a major arcana that's in the reverse. So now the star card is the wish card. The star card is the hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. The only thing that I get when the star card shows up, because it's still powerful when it's in the reverse position, Libra, don't get me wrong, certain things that may take place, though. It could be that whatever it is that you're hoping for, wishing for um, to manifest and bring into your life, it will not be realized in this week period of time. OK, so that is the time frame. We want to stick to uh, September 2nd to September 8th. The star card doesn't mean that those things that you hope for, wish for or dream of is not going to come to place. It's just saying that it's, you know, those things are coming, but it's something else is going on. that's you know, possibly delaying it. 
but it won't be uh, realized or materialized on this week. So, all right. Hold out hope, though, with the star card. There could be for some of you a decrease in communication. Uh, this is my social networking card. So you might see uh, or feel that there's, you know, like not necessarily limitations with communication, but you're not getting as much or putting out uh, or receiving much communication. This is my social networking energy okay the social networking whatever your favorite social app is or your uh channel is you know it could be online dating it could be um you know instagram facebook twitter you name it snapchat there's a whole a whole bunch of them that i don't even remember or i could even speak of and didn't even know existed but then again let me just swing back here to this uh for a hot second here to remind you of this here as the shadow card says to trust yourself you're not trusting yourself okay is that connecting with the star card is that connecting with the, the king of wands you know, it's, it could be connected with so many energies here. So but the main focus and the goal and see, this is a card that keeps you or takes you out of focus. So trust yourself enough to know um, whatever it is that you're going to be uh, possibly dealing with in this up, uh, coming week here, because you do have some very positive, serious energies. So do not fret too much about the star card being in the reverse. The star card is still a very, very positive card. But it just simply means for me in terms of how I interpret this uh, energy is that those things that you hope for, wish for, dream of are still coming forth. But it's just not going to be materialized or realized during this period of time. All right. And we're only talking about a week. The last card that I have for you is the. Um, OK, so this is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Just to show you what the Ten of Wands looked like in the upright position is not always about carrying a heavy load, feeling like you're burdened by something. But some of you, um, you know, like I said, this is not just one person's, uh, you know, tarot reading. It could be all the energies. Uh, I'm sorry. It could be for anyone who comes across and sees this. And you may feel like you're burdened by uh, some situation or, you know, you're carrying a heavy load. But mostly the Ten of Wands for me is that you're. Um, Got a lot of stuff on your plate. It's a lot of multitasking, running errands. This is my busy B card. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands is my busy B card. So the reversal of this card, however, is the completion of all those things. Maybe it's connected to the people that are showing up here uh, in your spread. You know, doing work for family, uh, friends or, you know, your romantic relationships. This is a completion. Remember the fives and the tens and you have both a five and a ten and they're both wands. So this is new energy about to uh, open up for you. So if you are that Libra that was burdened by uh, whatever or you felt like you were carrying a heavy load. Now that cycle is about to end and there's some new energy that's about to open up for you. OK, so let's go right into your uh, Lenormand messages and like i said these cards aren't read in the reverse um i don't use these cards uh publicly i just you know use them for my own private uh, energies but i wanted to use them just to see um how they will come across and what type of energy will i be able to pick up with keep in mind i said i was going to only select two cards because two card you, you have to read lenormand and this is from the gilded Reverie Lenormand deck that was created by Ciro uh, Marchetti. Uh, you read them in pairs, okay? So you read them in pairs and it's always left to right. So it could be something that gives you additional information in terms of the uh, energies that I have already spoke about for you, Libra, okay? So let's see what's uh, possibly coming up for you. Okay, so here we go. Libra, Libra. All right, so. All right, so Libra, here we go. You're f okay. Uh oh. Now, oh, wait a minute. Let me see if I can do this right. This is the first card. This is the snake. The snake is not a good card in the uh, Lenormand deck. Okay. The snake is about. Okay. So the snake refers to. 
Normally in the Lenormand, there's a third party interest or there's somebody interfering. Uh, oftentimes I pick up with the snake that there's somebody who is, uh, the snake represents devilish stuff, evil stuff. And then the letter is someone could be, and see how the snake is with the mouth open and is the letter. Letter is always about receiving some type of news, but it doesn't always mean that it's positive. So because left to right, you read left to right. So someone that is in your circle and with all these people showing up here in the regular spread, we got the, and especially the king of wands that's in a reverse position and in the high priestess in the reverse position. As I said, there, there could be someone who is. Uh, strongly opposing you or you're in complete opposition with or there's something that's going on then that snake could represent that person okay and then the person uh, which the snake is always venomous so they're not going to be delivering any type of news so maybe delivering of some sort of news that is um, not only venomous poisonous or whatever but it's not going to be to your liking now let me keep in mind, since I am reading for you, you could be the snake and then you could be the one that's delivering this information. OK, but whatever the information is that you need to transpire or communicate or pass on to is not going to be good to the receiver. So just keep that in mind. Either Libra receives some sort of nasty news. OK, or uh, Libra is the deliverer of some type of uh, nasty uh, news. Also. There is no way that you can clean up these two energies here. I'm just going to leave it at that. Somebody receives something that they're not looking forward to. All right. And, or Libra delivers something that someone is not <laughs> not looking forward to. All right. This is how you read these cards. So, like I said, stand alone. The snake is a venomous. Uh, sometimes it could be a reference to the uh, other party or the other woman. Uh, all depends on what. If you follow the Norman and what you follow in terms of, um, you know, what people say and stuff. But for me, it's the other woman. It's someone. And that's also OK. So I just got this, too, because I, I you know, for some strange reason, uh, the snake could represent um, the snake could be representing someone who receives some type of news. It's connected to normally the tree represents, you know, health and stuff. But oftentimes, um, when you read these cards, my intuition kicks in. So the snake being twisted as he or she is in this card, uh, somebody could be receiving news in this reference to some sort of medical uh, situation. OK, now with the twisting, it could be some sort of obstruction or some sort of uh, normally I get the varicose veins i don't know why i get varicose veins but something is not something and also to the snake could represent when it comes to medical blockages okay so keep that in mind something being blocked and um i get that with the tangled up uh snake in the position that he is uh, that she or he is in and then the, somebody gets that news okay that something's not quite right and needs to be straightened out all right so that's what i have for you libra i hope this is beneficial let me know throw the comments in i appreciate you guys really i do please be safe for uh labor day and um till i talk to you again uh, be well take care bye